Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, again, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want us to be very, very, you know, brief and, uh, you know, down to the details in analyzing the, uh, you know, the pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages of that party and comprehensive insurance when it comes to the taxi vehicles insurance. So when you buy a car, definitely, you know, you cannot go on the road without an insurance cover. And there are basically two types of insurances. You can either be on comprehensive or you can be on that party. And, you know, at this point, I want to assume that most viewers on this platform at least understand what is a that party cover and what is a, a, a comprehensive insurance. And for those who are not sure about the definition, that party simply means that, you know, your car and yourself are not covered. You cannot be compensated and your car cannot be compensated in case you have an accident. But the person, if you hit a person or you hit another car, that car or that person can go to court and claim to be compensated through your insurance. Okay, so if that other person that you have hit has a comprehensive cover, they will be compensated immediately by their insurance. But if they have third party, they have build or rebuild their car first, they can repair first, then they take the claims to their insurance, which again will take my insurance to the court to get compensated. So I hope it makes you understand a bit of the difference. But you know, the difference, the critical difference between uh, the third party and comprehensive is that if I have an accident today and I have a comprehensive cover, my car is covered. So I will, it will start the repair process very soon, depending on the how fast the approval process is. But without any requirement from me, whether I was on the wrong or whether I was on the right, my car will be repaired by my insurance company if I have a comprehensive cover. And if I am involved in an accident I will, and I am the one who was on the wrong, my car will be repaired. But that other person can take my insurance to court, you know, with me as the client saying that I was on the wrong and their insurance cover will request for compensation through my insurance. So that is how the insurance money revolves. Even if your car is repaired by your insurance company, the story most of the time does not stop there. The other person that you have hit, if it is identified that I am the one who was on the wrong, the other insurance company will pursue me through the court, but the compensations will be done between the insurances without me getting involved. So simply, that party means that your car is not covered and you are not covered if you are involved in an accident. Nobody will repair your car, you will have to repair it with your own money. If you have the, uh, comprehensive insurance and your car has an accident, it simply means that your car will be repaired whether you are on the wrong or on the right. But in both insurances, you as the driver, you are not covered. Okay, Only the people you hit and the people you are carrying if the, it has been registered as a PSV. So your passengers, in case of an accident and they get injured, they are covered. So there is an amount they should they can get if they take you to court and it is identified that you are on the wrong, then they can be compensated. Okay, so those are the two critical uh, differences. So what are the pros and cons of each of these? What are the advantages? The advantages of that party is, the, is that it is very, very cheap. With only 8,000 Kenya shillings per, per year, you can have yourself covered. The second one, it, it, it's that it saves you time. So if today you have an accident, a, a minor accident, or you know an average accident that will cost you like uh, 50,000 to repair, you can take your car to tomorrow to the garage of your choice, and then it, the repairs will start the next day. And maybe within a week or two maximum, your car will be back on the road. Uh, while on the comprehensive, I don't know whether you should analyze that one separately. Let me first of all finish with the pros and cons of that party. So I say it, is, it saves you a lot of time. And then, uh, you know, the disadvantage, the major disadvantage of that party is that you are not covered together with your, with your car. So if your car gets involved in a very serious accident that leads to a write-off, that is the end of your car. Nobody will compensate you and you will lose all your money. If your car gets stolen, again, you will lose all your money. So that, those are the two critical, you know, uh, disadvantage of, the, of that party. Let us now go into the comprehensive. The major advantage of comprehensive insurance is that your car is completely covered. Whether it is stolen or it gets an accident and it is completely written off and forget, forgotten, you will get compensated by your insurance company. They will give you money back into your account 
worth the valuation. So if your car was valued, let's say, 1 million Kenya shillings, that is the money they will give you back. Uh, the second advantage is also, you know, your car, you know, if it, in case of theft, you know, the insurance company will also compensate you. So you will never lose your car completely. The other one is in case of minor accidents, you know, accidents that require 20, 30,000 to repair, you will, can take it into the garage and then the insurance company will do the repairs and then you take your car home without spending a single shilling. So those are the advantages of comprehensive insurance. On that other hand, the, the disadvantages of comprehensive insurance, the first one is that it is terribly expensive. Right now, if you want to purchase PSV insurance comprehensive, it will cost you between 60 to 90,000. 60 to 90,000 per year. While I have just mentioned to you that the that party will cost you like 8,000 Kenya shillings per year. So see the difference. Let us work with 70,000 on average. So 70,000 per annum. Secondly, is that if your car gets involved in an accident, you tend to lose a lot of time. Whether a small or a big accident, repairs with an, with an insurance don't start immediately. So you will need to go through the due process, you go through the, um, the accident assessment, you fill in the documents, you know, you get approvals. And then before even your car starts to be repaired, sometimes even two weeks go by. And then before the full repairs are done, your car can stay in the garage for two months. So you imagine the amount of loss you will incur, especially if the accident was not a major accident. If it is a small accident that requires minor bodywork, it can take you... If you take that car to the garage yourself, within the same day you can go with it home and continue working the next day. So if you are in a comprehensive plan, even mean a small work like painting can take a whole month, meaning that you will lose the whole income for that month and your driver will be jobless for that one month. So those are the, that is the very, very critical you know, point to consider when you are paying for that party insurance for PSV cars. The other one is that you don't have the luxury to take the car to the garage of your choice because there is already a prescribed list of garages that these insurance companies work with. So definitely some of them are excellent garages, some of them you might not like them, but as I have said, you don't have a choice. You have to choose one among the prescribed. So that is another disadvantage. And the last one <coughs> is that uh, sometimes insurances don't keep their promise not every insurance will accept to repair your car. So I have seen so many claims that have been turned down in case of an accident, in case of a write-off, in case of theft, some insurance will try to evade that cost by saying that, you know, there was negligence, the tracker was not working, so many other things that were not working. So if you are on a comprehensive cover and you don't have a car tracker, for example, and that, then that car gets stolen, it will be very, very hard for you to convince the insurance that it is not an inside job, that you, how did you not have a tracker? It will raise a lot of questions. So insurance cover comes with additional costs because they will try to see, have you installed the security gadgets into your car? Do you have a tracker? Do you have an alarm? Which tracker did you have? Did you have one, two, or three? So if you have none of this in your car, then it complicates your issue when it comes to compensation. And then if you don't want to make your matter complicated, just install these all, all security uh, measures, which will also cost you money. So those are the key differences and disadvantages and advantages of each plan. So now let us talk of which is the right plan for a PSV car. Okay? So for me, in my experience in the last three years that I have been in this business, uh, the first one year, I put my cars in comprehensive. Then subsequent years, I have done that party and I have seen it working very well. First of all is because when you are driving a car that is on that party, you tend to be very, very careful because you know the cost of an accident. You know that any cost, anything that you cause that car, any damage, any scratch, any breakdown that you incur on your car, you will be the one to pay the cost. So you don't risk your car so much. So naturally, you'll find yourself being very prudent with the car you are driving, if it is on that party. If that one can give you good results or not, I am not sure. But I have seen it working on me. Before the, the first year, I was on that, I was on a comprehensive. And at some point, you know, my mind would just tell me, ah, you know, you are covered. Don't care. Don't uh, give this guy the way. Don't do this, you know, because you feel that you are covered. But when you are not covered, 
you tend to be very very prudent and i have seen that one giving results so that is the first thing secondly is the point that i have as uh, i have spoken about about the the time and you know time is completely money if the one who said that time is money it was not supposed to be applied anywhere else apart from in the uber industry any day that your car spends in the garage you will lose your 1500 kenya shillings that your driver should give you and also the driver that you have employed is losing his daily income so if your car spends two months in the garage waiting to be repaired maybe a repair that will cost even 20000 or 30000 you know if two months of garage work will cost you like 70000 of income because your driver is giving you 35k per month so it stays in the garage you lose your 70000 and also your driver loses an income he loses an income so all the salary that he pays himself he will go without because he doesn't have any other level of income so that is a very very major thing to consider for me if my car has an accident today that costs 20 or 30000 i would prefer to take it to the garage get it repaired in less than 48 hours and put it back to work instead of taking it to the insurance and then they spend you never know some insurance could be very fast others could take a long time then because of 20000 you end up losing 70000 and also your driver ends up without any money in their pocket so that is one of the factors that made me say let me put my cars into that party uh, plans and thank to god so far one year down the line nothing major has happened the small things that have happened i take care of them and you know and most people who are also on comprehensive covers they will also be spending this money. Any, any damage costing 15,000, 10,000, they will not go through the insurance. If your side mirror is stolen, you don't need to go and leave that car in the garage for a whole two weeks. You can go buy a side mirror for 15,000 and continue working. So those are things that you have to consider before you choose a plan. And don't forget that you had already spent your 70,000, you know, in buying that comprehensive insurance. And people who have had incidences with comprehensive insurances, they will know, they will tell you that your car getting repaired is not the end of the matter you will have to top up so many other things if they were not covered in the excesses so even if your car is repaired you know for damages worth fifty thousand, they will call you upon to add another 10k extra if you are taken to court by the person you are involved in accident with you know through the court procedures they will tell you you have to pay ten thousand. there are so so many nitty-gritties that people don't pay attention in the comprehensive insurance but in case of an accident you will end up spending another like 30000 on top of what you had paid for you to get you know your case closed and your car fully repaired so in my view i say you know business is all about risk is all about risk but definitely you must know what you are risking and this video at least i hope it has given you some insights and uh, you know understanding on what you are risking when you go for this plan and not the other if there is a point that I have forgotten, please drop it in the description box and I will be very happy to address it together with you guys. Cheers and continue enjoying your Easter holidays. Okay, bye for now.